Howdy and good evening, everybody. It's great to be back here once again. And as always, I am thankful and grateful that you've taken the time to watch me, to click on my channel. Um, the last couple of videos I've done, especially the last one, I was um, uh, very humbled by how many people actually tuned into my uh, video. And uh, I'm overwhelmed and I'm thankful for that. Thank you, everyone who's watched. Um, I'm kind of going to piggyback on that video. Not to try to uh, get a lot of clicks because I'm going to talk about the last video, but um, it's a real simple question. I know that's been asked over time, but who do you blame? You or God for all the decisions that you make? A lot of time we, times we do that. And I'm thinking about this whole move and how people don't move and so forth and so on. And quite often, what do I hear a lot? And I'm just as guilty as is saying these things in my past also. I'm like, ah, yeah, God just wants me here. God just wants me to be unhappy or God's just testing me. God is God has put me here. God is making me go through these troubles on purpose. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't happen. What I'm saying is it's not always God. Sometimes it's just you. Sometimes you make stupid mistakes. Sometimes you make poor decisions. We all do. I'm just as guilty. I'm not going to sit here and go, Oh, my friend, I've been studying the Bible for 35 years, and I have never made a mistake. Not one time. Uh, yeah, no, that anyone who said that is a... Okay, I'll say it, He's a liar. I'm making the accusation. He's a liar. And I hope it's not a she, because a she shouldn't be up there telling you anything. Anywhere. Just so we know that first kind of thing. But think about this for a second. We could blame all our troubles. We have, or we could have had a lot of things that kept us back in uh, up in Connecticut. Uh, th my dad was up there. Uh, my sisters were up there. Um, while we were very familiar with the area, we liked the New England quaintness of the area. We want this. Well, my kids have some friends there. And, well, I, I really like my job, or how about I don't like my job, but I like my friends at the job, which they shouldn't really be technically your best friends because they're not Christian. But, anywho, um, so there are a lot of these things. Well, I mean, I'm just, I know the area. I know these streets left and right. We find all these reasons to stay when, as I told you before in the last video, if God is telling you to move, and all these doors are shutting where you are, but you see doors opening somewhere else. Go to the open door. Sometimes it's actually there for a reason. And you might want to think about walking through it. But don't blame, well, you know, I'm just, you know, I would if I could. Well, you can. Sometimes it takes a little more time and planning than others. Some can up and go. But we can't continually see the problem is we don't trust God. So I'm going to ask you that question again. Who do you blame, you or God, for your decisions, for your mistakes? They're yours. You're not a victim, not all the time. Sometimes things can happen to people, completely understand. But you have got to make that step. You've got to, what's the old saying, to rip the bandit up? you just got to go. You know, we've already enjoyed some of Tennessee's weather. We lost the power for six hours the other night. I think it was six hours. We let six. Now I'm doing the math. Five hours. We went out around six o'clock, came back on one o'clock, had a rainstorm come through. So those who live in Tennessee, they know the weather here. They understand that that happens. So for us, you know, it happened. Hey, it is what it is. You go to bed, you wake up, hopefully you have power. If not, well, then you take the next step. But by one o'clock in the morning, the power is back on. Not a big deal. It was a fun adventure, you know? So I, I, and you can say, oh man, we lost that power and that, that the place we're renting till the other house is here. Maybe it was a bad decision. See, we always go into this negative tailspin. You don't have to do that. Sometimes just things actually happen. It just, it is what it is. And you get the, oh boy, I can't say, believe I use it. It is what it is. Can't stand that statement. But I said it anyways, how about the apples? All right, I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 19 in the King James Bible. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 3. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. See, we, we use our own 
intellect. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Rely on God. We talked about this. Don't let things hold you back. If you're having issues right now where you are, and you keep making the same decisions, it could be you. Oh, I don't, you know, Lord puts that drink in front of me. He's testing me. No, he's not. You put yourself in front of that drink. Um, ah, all these women with their half nakedness. God keeps putting them right in front of my view to see. No, you're looking at the view that you're seeing. Um, oh, man, I just, I don't like to gamble. But, uh, man, people have been asking me, hey, play some poker some night. And I lost some money. And why does God keep tempting me like that? Because he's not. You can make anything happen with the guidance and the direction of God. I'm telling you. You know, uh, we, we planned this for a while, like I said, coming down to Tennessee. It's been quite the adventure so far. Um, my truck, when it, when it got dropped off, we had it shipped down here and we drove the car. So we got here in the truck. All the lights were on. I got the stability track on, engine light on, everything's on. I'm like, what's going on? I go to driver's, got reduced power, and I couldn't get anywhere. I'm like, what in the world? And I will be honest, I was a little upset at first. I'm like, you got to be kidding. you got to be getting. See, like I said, I'm a born-again Christian, and I got angry. So if you find any born-again Christians out there go, oh, I don't get angry. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. It happens. It's our flesh. It happens. We need to ask for forgiveness from God afterwards. I am so sorry, God. I should not have been angry like that. And it actually worked itself out. We prayed about it. My wife prayed that night. Um, my father even prayed about it. And the next morning, I get in the truck, and I'm not kidding you. No lights. Truck drove fine. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. So, I, I you know... We, 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 we get these little struggles, but they're fine. You're going to make it through. We gotta, we're got to. we supposed to close on the house one week. It's going to be delayed one week. Okay. God is in charge of those things if you give it to him. He will fix what has to be fixed if you give it to him. But a foolish man decides to do it himself by his own will. Oh, I'm going to use my brains. Listen. There are a lot of brilliant people out there, okay? There are. There are, there are MIT students. There are uh, people with 19,000 degrees. That's fine. Actually, yesterday and today felt like it was 19,000 degrees outside. I'm just saying. It's a little warm outside. As a northerner, I got to get used to that. I, you know, I went from the northeast to the southeast. Clearly, I prefer the southeast instead of the northeast. Now I lost my train of thought. I do that. My wife says, sometimes you go down rabbit holes. I'm like, I do. I do sometimes. I'm guilty of that. So instead of going down all these rabbit holes, I'm going to just get to the point and continue with the point I was making. Stop blaming God for everything that goes wrong in your life. Because sometimes it's just you. And sometimes you make those mistakes. I'm not condemning everyone. I'm not saying, go, you're a terrible person. And, you know, the reason why you are you don't know how to do anything is because you don't follow this verse and that verse. A lot of people who want to just throw verses at people, never have understood what it's like to go through those things. They don't have a clue. You know, what's the old saying? They live in the ivory towers. Some people haven't experienced anything about life, and yet they want to make decisions. Now, if I'm talking to a man who's like retired, you know, he's been through the the muck and the mire. He's been around a long time, and he's, 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 he's seen some things. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm more apt to listen to that gentleman. I'm like, you, you've seen it, you've been through it, you know what you're doing. See, it's, a, it's an ignorant fool that doesn't listen to their elders. It's an ignorant man who does not listen to the elders. And I'll say that for women. When they don't listen to uh, elder, uh, women uh, elders are, are in the church, uh, you're a very foolish individual, whoever you are. I mean, there's many out there. But again... Whatever you're going through right now, it's not always God's fault. It's yours. Because I'm willing to, to, to go out on a limb and say, more often than not, if you put it in God's hands, you are going to get a lot back. I don't mean the whole, send me $100 and uh, God will save you. No, that's not what I'm talking about. 
So I didn't want to make this uh, video too long. I don't know if I'm looking at the right camera. I, I said that last time. I'm not sure if I'm looking at the right part of the uh, the camera phone here. Um, and the reason I didn't respond to a couple people, a couple of people that uh, inboxed me or whatever you want to call it on, on YouTube and uh, couldn't even respond because we ran out of power right after I did the video two nights ago. So it was two nights going. So with that, before I ramble on, God bless and have a beautiful evening.